Firefight boss battles, max rank reward teased again by 343, and a classic Master Chief core on the way? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. I'm sure many of you remember back in June when it was first found out through the API that there was no max rank reward. Leading Halo YouTuber iSpyful, who did hit max rank when it first happened, to say like, well, are you kidding me? What's going on with this? But then we had the community director sketch say, stay tuned. Well, we've been staying tuned for hearing any information about what might be the max rank reward for the longest time. And now, from 343, we finally got some information. One of the YouTube homies, Mint Bliss, said one rank away from max rank in Halo Infinite. But of course, you know, with this being done, nothing really to look forward to actually getting that. So you're know, excited to have nothing except the nameplate for it. Wanted it done before season five, pretty sure they'll add a reward in with the new season. And then the community director sketch, once again, just replies back with the eyeballs, which I mean, obviously isn't exactly confirming anything, but it's just kind of like a wink and a nod, be like, yeah, it's on the way. Interestingly enough, we haven't seen any leaks of what might be the 152 reward. My assumption would be some kind of unique coding or something that will really show off in game to somebody else while playing that, yeah, I am a max rank player. It's great that max ranks were added into Halo Infinite, though it's super bare bones. And to me, it doesn't really feel very interesting to rank up. I mean, it's nice to have like a little carry at the end of the stick if you really want to go for it. But maybe I'm just not that type of player to just grind out Halo endlessly just to rank up to showcase how much I play the game. Though it seems like we'll actually get to know what this reward is coming around very soon. 343 recently posted this blog of the Forge features as they normally do. This one's kind of interesting because it showcases the various campaign levels recreated within Forge, which if you guys want to see me play this stuff, let me know in the comments down below. I'll put like a hashtag Forge in there or something like that if you want to see me play some of these maps and make videos out of this stuff because this is some really interesting stuff for sure. And that would be really fun to play around with in the community with you guys as well. But the interesting thing is at the bottom of this blog right here where it says, stay tuned next week, a preview of what is coming to Forge when season five of Halo Infinite releases later this month. This seems pretty standard. Usually we do get like a live stream showcasing all the cool stuff that's coming around next season. We're getting very close to season five's release. And of course, if you guys want to update with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. Apparently 86% of you people who are watching this channel are not subscribed. If you want to keep up to date with everything coming around with season five of Halo Infinite and beyond that, well, you know what to do. At least tap like for the algorithm. Them. One thing I know the community at large is crazy excited for is Firefight. We've seen tons of leaks about it coming in, utilizing the House of Reckoning level to be, be the main Firefight map. And we recently received this leak here from Delta on Twitter here, showcasing various features and options you can utilize within the Firefight mode of Halo Infinite. The level of customization is just crazy, but in general, saying general settings, respawn revival settings, King of the Hill settings as well, skull streaks, and set slash wave customization. But that's not the only thing that's been leaked out what's coming with Firefight. According to our favorite leaky boy, Sarasia says it seems like all the bosses are in Firefight, question mark. You can see here, here going down the list, you recognize all the names like Harbinger, Bassus, Eshiram, Jega, and so many more. And there are strings within the API of Halo Infinite. So what is 343 going to do with these strings when it comes to this information? Well, we don't really know, but it would be amazing if there would be boss battles within Firefight. That would be a great evolution of the mode. My biggest concern about Firefight coming into Halo Infinite is that it's just going to be Firefight, the same Firefight we've played for basically the last, what, 15 plus years, which at the time at release, it was a great mode to kind of jump on that horde mode hype train that was going on back in the day. We saw boss battles come around with Halo 5's War Zone, which actually helped make it pretty interesting as well. It would be great to see if that gets brought over to Halo Infinite to help spice up the gameplay a little bit. So then it's not just fighting endless ways or just, you know, mindless enemies, some kind of bosses, some big kind of battle that would be super cool. Though I do feel like I need to burst your firefight bubble a little bit here, because once again, Sir Asia says Forge AI seems more plausible than firefight for season five. I would be surprised if it doesn't come out, meaning we could just see Forge AI come in with season five, which would be a little bit of a downer, though we have been unnecessarily been pumping ourselves up for firefight due to all the leaks that we've been covering here on the channel for season five for a firefight. Uh, if it doesn't come in, I wouldn't be too super upset about it. Oftentimes game modes when it comes to Halo Infinite get leaked out months and seasons in advance. I mean, we've been talking about the mode extraction for over a year now at this point. That's back when it was leaked out. 
and it's still not in the game, which it has been rumored that it will be coming in with season five. Of course, we'll find out more when 343 does their live stream or whatever they do to announce all the cool stuff coming in with this new season. With the recent seasons for Halo Infinite, they haven't really been adding much when it comes to a whole new armor set, right? We've been getting new additions for the armor sets that are already there, which I think is the right move to make at the moment. But it does seem like we will begin some new cores coming in later on with Halo Infinite. So Asia once again showcasing some more customization of these cores, saying there's an Eagle Strike, Hazmat, Fireball, which is a Chimera, uh, Reach, which would be the Mark V-B, Samurai, Mirage, the Lone Wolf slash Rock Sasha core. But the bottom two here are very interesting. Halo Infinite Mark VI kit. And the last one, Combat Evolved Mark V Armor Core. These last two of the Halo Infinite Master Chief Core and also possibly the Master Chief from Combat Evolved Core coming in, that would be amazing. That would be some armor sets I would want to grind for. These Fracture Cores have been cool, interesting, whatever. Nice, interesting take of what you can do with Halo Infinite Armor. But Everyone kind of just wants to have like the nostalgia and the armor sets that we all come to know to love. I love the Mark 7. I love the Mark 5B. I love the SPI. I actually kind of like the Rock Shots a little bit as well. But we get Halo Infinite Master Chief in with comes to cores that we've just seen that leaked out over and over and over and over again. And then also if we can get the classic Mark 5 core from Combat Evolved, Put in the Halo Infinite, I mean, that's pure nostalgia hits right there. And that's what really draws people into Halo now at this point. It's just playing off of nostalgia and remembering the good old days when you played Halo back when you were a kid. I'd also keep in mind that Season 5 might see some expansions when it comes to cross-core customization for Halo Infinite. We saw a huge jump when it comes to the coatings for Season 4, and we might see some more jumps being made with this upcoming season. But talk about customization and events coming in for you guys. We have the HTS Seattle event coming in on October 13th through the 15th, which I will be attending. If you guys see me there, make sure to stop by and say hi. Let's grab a picture. Let's talk about some Halo stuff. But we have three awesome Twitch drops coming in for you guys when it comes to the HCS Seattle event. The first drop here is the Cosmic Nexus Armor Core coming in right here. Again, available on all Armor Cores throughout the weekend through October 13th through the 15th. All you need to do is link your Halo Waypoint account with your Twitch account. And if you just sit there and have the stream open and playing, you'll get this drop. We have the Smellbringer Armor Coating, which if you guys remember, this was an armor coating that was designed for the Dr. Squatch promotion that was going on for a while, but now this is gonna be available for people to play. The interesting thing about this, it has like a wood aesthetic to some of the parts of the armor, which is really interesting. And then we have the Loyal Opposition coating as well, kind of a camo, digital camo with a red and a blue tint on them. If you guys like that kind of stuff, there's more there for you. Also keep in mind that only this coating has an issue of being on the Mark 7 only. The other two coatings will be part of the all-core, cross-core awesomeness. Now this might sound redundant, but I see these comments every single time there's a Twitch drop available for a Halo event. You make sure, guys, you link your Halo Waypoint account with your Twitch account before this event goes live because every time I see it, people say, I watched and I didn't get my Twitch drop. Why is this broken? And I can't really answer that for you because I have linked my account and everything's just fine. Everyone I know who links their account, it works just fine. So just make sure you have your accounts linked together so when the event does come around, all you need to worry about is having a tab open. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to tap like and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.